decades ago, one local sheep farmer looking for a more profitable business sold up and tried his hand at growing a crop more closely associated with the cultures of Spain and France. Today, Mark Botwright's garlic farm near Bridport is going from strength to strength, producing 900,000 bulbs a year. He's also found a novel way to preserve the seasonal product all year round. I've come to meet Mark to find out more. Garlic, it's not the traditional plant we'd have here, what, 50 or so years ago. Why is it becoming so popular? Uh, I think our taste buds are changing, really. I mean, normally you would just see wheat and barley growing here. It's a good cash crop. It's yeah. something that people like to eat. Now, you're a traditional farmer by trade. What made you start thinking, you know what, let's grow some garlic? Well, believe it or not, uh, my wife Wendy gave me three bulbs 17 years ago as a birthday present. We never ate any in the kitchen. I just kept it back all the time, dried it and replanted it. And from that, in, this is what you see after 17 years of hard work. You are joking. This, this is the product of those three birthday bulbs yep. of garlic. You seem very passionate about this garlic. I mean, is this, is this all you do now? Yeah, it's all I do. I live, breathe, have nightmares about it. Everything I do is, is solely garlic. Fresh garlic is in season between July and October, and the dried bulbs have a limited shelf life of a couple of weeks. Mark wanted to find a way to preserve some of these bulbs so they could be eaten all year round. A few years ago, he came across an ancient Korean method for curing garlic bulbs by exposing them to heat and moisture over a 40-day period, producing what is known as black garlic, which lasts up to a year. Now, you call it black garlic. That's right. It doesn't look particularly black, No, it does just it? looks like an, an aged, not yeah. very happy garlic, does it, really? I saw, if I found that in my fridge, I'd be thinking about throwing it out. Yeah, so you would do. Right, let me show you. You ready? Yeah. Ooh, wow, it's jet black, isn't it? There you go. Like tar. It's so, got a real licorice texture, but a real wow, balsamic, yeah. aged balsamic flavour. Can I have a nibble? Yeah, you can here. There's one here. You can try. Okay, thank you. So already, it's, I mean, this looks dry and horrible and ready yeah. to throw out, but this is really moist, mulchy, if you like. Wow. I put it in. Put it in my mouth, and I thought that's like a licorice, all sorts sort of thing. And now, now you're getting to say the balsamic vinegar, and only now do I get the garlic. It's, yeah. it, come, it comes in stages, yeah, doesn't it? That's amazing. Sweet, savory. It's like a Willy Wonka sweet. It's awesome. <laughs> I can't get over it. Sort of the texture. rubbery texture. Yeah. It's amazing. Right now, this is the nice thing about it. You don't actually have to cut to chop it up. So you can actually put it down. Oh yeah, look at that. And make a paste. That goodness easily. me. Black garlic has twice the antioxidants of normal garlic, is low in fat, rich in natural sugars, making it sweeter in taste, and, unlike its whiter version, leaves no smell or bad breath. There are a variety of ways it can be used in everyday cooking, in pastas, roasts and stir-fries. Or simply warmed with butter and enjoyed on a piece of ciabatta toast with ricotta cheese, some scrapes of fresh garlic and a sprinkle of chilli flakes. That is absolutely amazing. I'm getting a really nice smoky, smoky flavour. And that sweetness from that garlic as well, that, that black garlic. Oh, it's goodness. As Britain's only black garlic producer, Mark has finessed the ancient curing process and has his own special heating hut, which churns out 2,500 bulbs every 40 days. He now supplies the country's top eateries with British black garlic. It's a far cry from his days as a struggling sheep farmer.